It's Super Bowl Sunday! Coming up this week, we're talking about that Super Bowl Sunday and our Super Bowl traditions. Then our case has to do with a fantasy football fight, a feud, a fracas, if you will. <laughs> Stay tuned. You're going to want to hear our verdicts on how this one went down. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Fantasy Football Feud. Welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also support the show over at patreon.com slash geeksontrial. For just five bucks a month, and you'll gain early access to both our audio and video episodes before they're released to the general public, and access to Geeks on Trial Sidebar, a bi-monthly show exclusive to Patreon, and it's it's one heck of a good show and a good time that we have over there at patreon.com slash geeks on trial. If you like this, well, you're going to like that, too, because it's more of us. God, it's good. God, God I'm so great. envious you know, of you. You know, yeah. you know what time it is right now? It's football season coming football to an end. Football season <laughs> coming to an end. I have to go here, go to my, my ear doctor real quick. I'm deaf now. Football. Football Who season. Wants it is. A football. I realized I'm doing <laughs> dumb and dumber. <laughs> foot long. Who, Who wants, wants the foot long? Or who got the foot long? So it is anyway. Super Bowl week. Can you feel it in the air? All the Super Bowl yeah. excitingness. And I actually didn't realize it was Super Bowl time until I had to look up at a calendar and say, oh, look, Super Bowl's coming up. It's Super Bowl week, but I'm feeling Super Bowl strong. We're both big football fans. Huge. I love when they make a home run and and all that jazz. And you can get now, that. come on. <laughs> no, we don't need to do any of that. <laughs> no, I, am, that, uh, I, I know that, about football. I've seen a football game sure. or two on TV. Never one in real life. Well, college. I've, I've gone to college games because I was getting extra credit for classes. But, um, yeah, I know, I know about the footballs. I, I don't know who's playing this year. It's interesting. I've been to professional major league baseball games. Mm -hmm. I've never gone to a major league <laughs> I've NFL never been game to any major league sporting events. Minor league. Wow. Like, like we've gone to our local, like what uh, have you even done? Like in your life? Ooh, made podcasts. <laughs> that's, that's roughly it. <laughs> I do. I do want to go to like, I feel like I'm missing out by not going to like a major league event. I've been to sports stadiums. Yeah. Go to Yankee stadium. You got to just go. Like I've it's been easy. to, you know, we went to, um, we saw the Elton John concert at the giant stadium here in New Jersey. <laughs> okay. I mean, that doesn't, <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. You've you know, been inside of it. We, we've been inside of the, uh, the Lucas oil stadium at Gen Con. Have we, did yeah. I go in there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I went in there. There's a big D&D &D campaign going on in the football field. I don't think I ever did oh, that. I might have, it might have been I, when I was leaving. <laughs> yeah, I think I never did it. <laughs> I've looked at it. Well, did your dad not, uh, is your dad a sports guy? We are not a sports family. Not at all. Oh, interesting. That's, well, that's why. Is yours? my dad's a sports guy. Yeah, okay. of course. So. Uh, oh, of course. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, of course. His no, dad yeah, we're, we're a real not, dad. We're not a sports family. We, um. We're more of like the, the family that goes out to like, you know, parks and goes on hikes, like that kind of outdoorsy stuff. <laughs> and so I know. Doesn't Loser it show alert? Doesn't Loser it, alert. Doesn't it show that? Like, okay, let's. Wee woo. Wee woo. I want you to Loser show me alert. how to throw a football. Loser let's go. alert. <laughs> wee woo. I'm showing you right now. This is for listeners only. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching the video, don't look. But for <laughs> listeners, I'm now showing how to throw a football perfectly. Perfect. Your hand just moved. That's it. And, uh, and I was wow. really impressed. Wow. Look at that football go. The, the laces were in. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, what has, so, so your family never put the Super Bowl on, on the Super Bowl Sunday. We would watch, it would be on occasionally because I would want to watch the commercials and the halftime show. 
That is what I would do. So like, yeah, sure. We would have on the football game, but it would be like, oh, let's see what's on on other stations. Let's check in every now and then. But never really like, you know, maybe when I was a little bit older in like college, I would go to Super Bowl parties. Um, but that's more so just for the I want to go hang out with people and oh, the football game's on in the background. But never really that's anything what, major. Yeah, more when I was a kid, there would be like um, the some house. One of our neighbors would have a Super Bowl party. Right. And but but then it would be like I remember all the kids would be in another room. Yeah, like we would be playing <laughs> video games or something. And like, oh, something cool happens. Yeah. You know, oh, the, the wings came out of the oven. Let's go have food. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, like obviously I'm not a football person, unlike my dad, which is obvi- also obvious. Mm-hmm. But I I like the idea. You know what I like is wings. <laughs> I like wings. Wings. I like um, beer. Yep. I like pizza. Seven layer dips. Yeah, all giant, those things appeal. Giant to Giant subs, which I don't know why Super Bowl is like. Oh, let's get a eight foot sub. That's a Super Bowl thing. Like that's. Yeah, I'm into that. Right. And um, yeah, I don't know that I've ever really watched a Super Bowl either. Well, sporting in general, I've never really like I'll sporting. Say, I could watch an event, but it's like it just takes so long. And it's like, oh, <laughs> I could I could watch two movies during this time or it's not in our in our DNA. It's no. just not it just doesn't make us tick. But you know what uh, I do love during the Super Bowl is, like I said, the halftime show, which this year. It's Usher, which will be exciting. I like, well, I, I enjoy, there's some Is like it? top pop music that I enjoy by Usher. Um, and it's not who I ever would have guessed. All right. Well, yeah, because like, what was it? A few years ago, it was like the weekend. Is he relevant now? Well, no, nobody's ever know. relevant for the halftime show. The problem is I'm still thinking like Beyonce. Right. So I'm like, once you've hit that level. Or like the Rolling getting, Stones. Then you're going Usher? Or, right. <laughs> Or Katie did Katy Perry do it yep. one year? At least that's I guess I don't know. I'm out of the loop, but Usher to me seems like there's not isn't a, he a new little song. No, out it's of definitely date? a dated thing because they're trying to get, you <laughs> okay. know, older it's millennials. For the millennials. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I like see. I used to love when like I forgot it might have been Beyonce. When she did it, she pulled on like um Missy Elliott to do a song. And like I like when they bring on like a surprise guest and everyone's like, oh, Usher will probably bring on Justin Bieber because he started his career and I'm like, eh, but I, I was <laughs> what they should have done because there's the whole Taylor Swift's controversy. Pull Taylor on the stage. controversy that she'll well, be there watching. Right. You know, <laughs> Fox news controversy of like, Oh, She's there's a this <laughs> pop star sitting in the audience, just enjoying a game, whatever. But there they'd be stupid not to have her come and do a song. They'll never, no. she'll never do it. No, because yeah, she's no. there to support her boyfriend. I don't know if that was, Husband, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Son, son, I think it's father. His, I think he's her son. Um, and then also, <laughs> law. you know, they're they're less big now, but the Super Bowl commercials were always fun for me. Super Bowl commercials are always fun. The thing now is, first of all, they release them online a week ahead of time. I saw, so I've seen some of them. <laughs> well, the really cool one that was kind of cringe and kind of like whatever. <laughs> Did you see the one for Paramount? <laughs> yeah, that's the one I watched. Where it's like, oh, Patrick Stewart probably shouldn't act anymore. It's all there. So they got out Patrick Stewart. They also have uh, Hey Arnold. Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Um, uh, Knuckles from Sonic is there. Right. And just different background people that are clearly Dora. like not there. Well, the, the cartoons weren't there in person because cartoons aren't real. <laughs> right. But like, I'm sure Drew Barrymore and Patrick Stewart weren't in the same room filming at the same <laughs> it's, time. Right. They're, they're all standing like four feet apart and not interacting with right. each other directly. Uh, yeah, kind of a stupid commercial. But they did the same thing last year too. They kind of the same kind of Paramount commercial where it's like, oh, let's bring back old cartoons that we own. But even like, I don't even know if that was the real Hey Arnold voice or just some voice actor. I don't, I, well, there's been I think there's been three different Hey Arnold voices. So, oh really? Because <laughs> the first one was a 12 year old kid, so he went through oh, puberty. <laughs> right. Okay. But the only uh, reason why I, they yeah. had you know Hey Arnold was because he has a football shaped head. So that was it is kind of. Right. It is funny to see Hey Arnold feels like a thing that shouldn't be referenced from our childhood, like right. that I remember fondly, but I'm like, oh, this is big enough to be in a Super Bowl commercial. Well, that's the thing, like, because Hey Arnold to me wasn't always like, yeah, it was a good show, but it wasn't like the Rugrats or, you know, the Ren and It Stimpy. is pretty good. It's, you might want to go back and watch it. It's pretty good. Well, no, no. It, I'm <laughs> saying it's good, but it, it didn't get the fame. 
right, as the other right. stuff did. You it's know? more niche. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, we're officially old because they're, they're, us back they're catering for... to us with, with that. Yeah. Well, I do think <laughs> they do that more now and it's such less of a timeline because like back in the day, it wasn't like, you know, up oh, they're doing a commercial and let's have I Love Lucy come. Like they weren't doing shit like that. I feel like the nostalgia stuff is definitely more so yeah. our generation than any other thing. There was a lot of 80s nostalgia, though, for, for uh, Gen X. Okay. That was, that's pretty big. But I don't think it was <laughs> as relevant as it is now. Like, now it's like a thing. Like, oh, we're doing a thing. You know, like. Yeah, I, it's maybe, I think it's just they didn't have the internet yet. So they couldn't, they couldn't be quite as annoying about it. Because I think <laughs> they feel like for like the, the 80s to. stuff, it's like, oh, we just brought back like the Transformers movie. We did, you know, we brought back right. a platform and not like, oh, we did a stupid ad for this. But I also feel like, you know, we were talking about this the other day and like ads now are either have to be so massive because most people I skip them or it's like, you know, they're not watching TV, like, quote unquote, traditional TV. So these ads aren't as like major anymore, which is yeah. why I do think they have to release them early because like I'm sure the Super Bowl numbers compared to even five years ago are not as big. Yeah. And yet they still probably pay a billion dollars. Oh, for these are the most expensive ads, I think, on the market because everyone needs to get a cut. These football players get a lot of money. Um, I think this year the, the 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 big game is going to be in Vegas. I think it's where they're doing it. Yeah, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. I don't. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> so, like, you know, you would you watch the Super Bowl this weekend? Probably not, right? I no, I don't have cable. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> unless I'm unless somebody sure asks me to watch it with them, <laughs> it is streaming. I think oh, yeah. it's on one of the, I think that's the big thing. I'm sure it's going to be on regular TV, but I'm pretty sure like one of the, like, let's say it's on uh, NBC. It'll be on Peacock. Yeah. Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to Like, it. unless I'm invited to like a party, <laughs> I'll probably forget it exists, but I will probably watch the puppy bowl. That's, you know, comes on at, you know, two o'clock on animal planet. I'll be there watching the cute puppies run around in a little thing. Little football What's impressive field. to me is how they fit their paws inside the bowling balls. No, 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 no. You you bowl mm. the puppy. You said you're, oh, that's how it works. Yeah. So you take a dog and you just push it down a, an alley and, you know. With with one of those big uh, shuffleboard sticks. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's the exact, I'm sure that has a name. Yeah. Why am I, I was miming a stick. I'm like, I'm holding a gavel. Like, this is a. I love you tool. and I probably could talk hours about shuffleboard, but football, no. I don't know that I could talk for hours about shuffleboard <laughs> either. Uh, also probably going to be some big movie trailers uh, during the Super oh, Bowl. Oh yeah, that makes sense because like it, it is like, it's such a big thing for the ads and, and even, or, or what was always the big thing? It was like, if it's on Fox, the new episode of a new Sunday animation, right. it was like they debut because it's such a big lead in show, the freaking Super Bowl. Um, that you'll get those views of either people left it on and forgot or, you know, are actually going to watch it. Yeah, you'll get the best ratings of the year for Family Guy season 14, episode seven. Oh, if you think it's 14 at this point, that's insane. I know it's like 22. If Yeah. But yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, so, well. so we are not mega, mega Super Bowl people. We're not big fans of sports, but, you know, it's it is a it is like a community thing. You know, it's like, oh, OK. We might not be there for the game, but somebody's having an event. Let's go to the event. And that's 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 always the fun part for me. And like I usually like I'll pick a team, be like, oh, I hope X team wins over Y, even though I have no ties into it. And then mm -hmm. you know you I'm the guy coming over, oh, football, eh? Then perhaps you'd enjoy a strategic game of Blood Bowl. I'll start setting it up on the table now. Is there a game? I'm sure there is a tabletop game for football. Probably. Well, there's Blood Bowl, which is uh, the the fantasy version of it with goblins and shit. Oh, that's a real thing. I thought you just made something up. I didn't know. No, about. that's a real that's a real thing. But I guess the closest <laughs> thing to a football game would just be playing fantasy football, right? Mm. <laughs> I guess the closest thing to a real football game right. would be playing well, fantasy football. Yeah, Playing a tabletop sporting simulator would be fantasy sure. football. Right, a video Madden perhaps would be oh, pretty close. Oh, they make video <laughs> games. Yeah, that's a, that is a thing. Yeah, it's a oh. genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a VR, a VR football game would probably be fun. 
I think they exist. I think mm-hmm. there's at least one. But as non-football people, it will be interesting to discuss today's case because it does revolve around fantasy football. Oh. Today's case comes to us from the internet. You can find a link in our episode description. Our defendant today is Barry. Barry has been part of a fantasy football league with friends for years now. And one of his friends, Skip, has been very busy throughout the most recent football season, not being able to pay much attention to his draft or getting too involved week to week. In fact, he's in danger of having the worst team in their league. So in the last week of the season, Barry warns him, hey, if you don't clean up a little bit, you're going to be in last place. Skip listens and ends up in ninth place out of 10 teams. This, however, annoys another member of the league, Mike, who ended up in 10th and says that if Barry hadn't warned Skip, he likely wouldn't have been able to improve his status and would have ended up in last place instead of Mike. And now Mike is going to have to face the league's unique form of punishment for being the last place player, which he doesn't feel he deserves. As dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's now our job to determine whether it was a fair catch for Barry to give Skip that interception, or if it was a foul, a fumble, and Mike should get a free kick. And I did Google all of those Thank you. terms. <laughs> I'm assuming those are all for uh, sports ball. <laughs> those are all for football. I don't know what they mean. I mean, I could guess so- now, I know some of them. <laughs> now, why do they call it football when you play with your hands, but we call soccer not football? It's an interesting story, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's originally, our version of football actually started in Lithuania. Okay. And uh, the reason they call it football is because foot is the Lithuanian word for pig skin. Oh, is this true? Uh, similar, at least. No. Okay. I don't well, know. Why if you that. want <laughs> fake facts, come on down to Geeks on Trial. Give us that Listen, thumbs up. You use your foot sometimes. You there kick are the kicks. Ball. You kick. You do kick the ball once in a while. Sure. It's just so weird that we took okay every other country calls soccer football. We're like, we're just going to make our own thing and just we'll rename the British shit later. I think it's, weren't they, wasn't uh, uh, Glenn Howerton saying that they, <laughs> it was like the other way around or something? Like it was originally, it was, the other thing was called soccer and they changed it to football. Maybe. I, I don't know what it is, but it's confusing. Now everything's American. It's because it's the same thing why we have the, the friggin' not the metric system. <laughs> Because we just we use Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. You just everything's got to be different here. Right. Our way or the highway, baby. Are measured the, in miles. Are we the only country that uses Fahrenheit? Uh, I would not venture to say we're the only one, but it was, I think many use Celsius. It was funny. I was we were talking to a, a mutual friend who we had dinner with recently, and I'm like, oh, it's 45 oh, degrees outside. And he just goes, I don't know what that is because <laughs> right. he's from Canada. So he had to look up on his phone what, you know, a real country calls it. Yeah. 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 It's rough. Being an American is a lot like, you know, you've, you're kind of just a special needs fella. But you just assume, <laughs> oh, wait, you don't know what Fahrenheit is? You know, it's, it's, that's the American. Yeah, but it's enough. so simple. 32, of course, is right. when it's freezing. Right. Huh? But what, who, I why? would never change. It. Like if somebody was like, oh, we're changing. I'm like, no, we're not. Yeah, I don't have. But after the popularity of Ted Lasso in the states, mm-hmm. maybe we'll start calling soccer football. We will. I will, and I'll confuse everyone. So, have you ever fantasy footballed? Well, as we discussed earlier, neither of us are sports fans. We've never watched the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. but I do take part in fantasy football league every year. Every, <laughs> I'm wow. very competitive. Now, how well yeah. do you do? Uh, so well, I have never lost one. Wow. Well, I've I mean, never lost one. But have you ever played one? I've never played one. So no. then, hey, good for you. <laughs> Perfect record. Perfect right. record. Clean, shiny. I'm assuming you have not ever no. done this. I've yeah, been part be of a, like when I used to work in a, at a real nine to five office job, they're like, oh, there's what a, a super, way to make a living. There's a Super Bowl pool, you know, fill in a square, put in five bucks. And then if you win said square, you win money. I'm like, okay, just pick a square for me. I had no idea what I was doing. It was like, oh, if somebody <laughs> wins X amount of points at a certain time, then you win. I'm just like, here, just I'm losing five dollars. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm gen. I'm gonna people uh, listening and watching might be might think this is ridiculous, but I I genuinely looked up how does fantasy football work for right. this case. I'm gonna try to explain my understanding of it, right? So that we're on even footing here going forward as we judge this case. Because like like we like a, you know this is we play games. We know fantasy. Fantasy is most of my life. So you know we know <laughs> games, but. Reading some of the stuff about this was why aren't there orcs involved? Well, that's orc. That's what I said a lot of the time. Now, one thing I did find out recently: they show um, one night a week. They have you know whatever night football is. They show it on Nickelodeon, and Nickelodeon has the rights to you know let's say Thursday night football, and like they'll digitally put in like slime and stuff to like appeal to children. Like, right, well, I read that they're doing that. That must be new because I read they're doing the Super Bowl this year on Nickelodeon for the yeah. first time. So like it's within the last like two years I think they were like doing that's football, fun. but yeah it is fun. that's that's how you get me to watch the Super Bowl. Add slime in and like Dora the Explorer. If I was twelve, I would be all over it. I'd love so, that. So tell me, fantasy football god. How, now that I'm an expert, <laughs> how do you fantasy football? How does one play football? It's pretty in their simple, fantasies? honestly. Mm-hmm. It's from from what I understand, everyone has their own team. Everyone mm-hmm. competing in your league. Oh, and you draft players. And uh, you try to pick the best players you can for each position. This is where I, so I assume it's a draft. People can't have the same players, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot. I don't know how many teams are in the NFL. How many options do you have? Are you like, is there an order? Are you Hmm. screwed? If you, this, I think this has been uh, Skip's problem in our case is that he hasn't been paying attention. So uh, he's been making mistakes such as, having injured players in his lineup so that they aren't actually competing mm-hmm. or uh, or competing in what they call bye weeks you know about a bye week it's not a it's not a gay pride thing it's not oh. like it's not like june it's something huh. different no i only know about gay months not bye weeks uh, B- bye it's it's when there's oh. no game that see you later bye so they just don't play mm-hmm. they call it a bye week that sounds like that sounds like a child came up with that part well, of the game. That's bye how, bye week. That's how we get the LGBT people involved in football. They're confused. <laughs> I thought we were here to celebrate our identity. <laughs> no. Nope. Now I have a football team. Right. Uh, and uh, you you watch whatever games your players are involved in, mm-hmm. and there's points assigned to what they do. So if they get a touchdown, that's a certain number of points. Whatever the hell else. And as I said at the top. Skip has screwed up. He's just not been paying attention and he's in last place until Barry helps him out. Barry's well, a pal. Barry's, so, a, Barry's a good friend. Like with any other game, you know, this has came up a few times in gaming episodes and stuff like that. You know, is mm-hmm. it, you know, asking for help isn't really a bad thing as long as like, you know, you know, Barry, uh, oh, oh, uh, God, ow, why would you poke me like that? Sorry. 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 For, for listeners, you'll have to go see what happens. And, uh, <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, you know, like asking for help is one thing like, oh, you know, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? But having Barry completely take over your game or give you something, you know, winning points, that could be a almost borderline cheating in a way. (laughs) Could it be? (laughs) Could it be almost borderline cheating? (laughs) Well, because like if somebody's like, you know, giving you tips... It's like, you know, right, right. Well, this isn't a tip, right? It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, hey, you should try is kind of what he, the sense I get of what he said. Or like, hey, pay attention, it's your turn, in a sense. (laughs) Right, right. Well, that, now we have talked about in regards to board games specifically, Mm -hmm. we've talked about going after someone who is winning, Right. I think. We haven't ever really touched on helping someone who is losing Mm -hmm. saying, Hey, if you don't, if you don't do this, you're going to, you're going to be in trouble. You better, you should pay, pay attention to that. Which isn't really a bad thing in my opinion, because it's just kind of like, you know, they're not going to win the game or even come in second. So like, why would, you know, waking up or, you know, pointing out something to somebody who's in last place, really mess anything up because uh, what, who's the other person who was losing Mike. So Mike, like 
he wasn't going to win anyway. He's just going to do one better. Now, I don't know if the story. We'll get to the it. punishment. We'll get to the punishment. <laughs> I don't know if don't... there was money involved. I don't think there's money involved. Because At least if, that doesn't say. If there is money involved and this is kind of like a betting thing, then that's when like, you know, this kind of takes a different turn because like, you know, maybe if you're in ninth place, you get a little bit of money versus final place or how many places there are and you get nothing. So that would cause a little bit of a, a ruckus. But like if it's just, you know, a quote unquote punishment, which we don't know yet. I don't remember it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about it. That's fine. <laughs> So, so, like, you know, would you personally be upset about this? Oh, well, okay. So you're you're touching on so many points. I wanna, I kind of want to tackle each one one at a time. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll touch down on them each mm. here. I'm trying to control my yardage. Is what I'm trying to control. Mm-hmm. But you're keeping your, you're keeping your tight ends looking good. Ah. <sighs> See, the, what I'm worried about on, for this podcast is that we're going to go long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to avoid. Oh, that was too too hard. Too hard to laugh. Didn't no, deserve it. Was, Didn't deserve it. That was good. All right. <laughs> no, okay. Hopefully the listeners thought so too. Uh, be, okay. So because in this story specifically, yes. Barry is – it's not – Barry's not in – this isn't affecting Barry directly, I don't think. He's not saying what place he's in. He doesn't tell us what place okay. he's in. But it's it was one thing, again, going back to the board game example, because it's just easier for my brain to use that as an example. Well, but like to break it down, this is a RPG for people playing football. Like kind of, sort of, a little bit. Right. Yes, sure. Um there's a difference between if it's everyone's first time playing. Mm. And you're trying to help someone out and you're saying, oh, I've played this before. You haven't. Or it's your second game only. Just so you know, I don't know if you caught this, but I'm going to be nice. There's a thing over there you should watch or you'll lose points. Uh, Versus uh, maybe you. Oh, it, it also it's different if it's a game where you're saying, hey, that guy over there who's in first place, you have an opportunity to take him out. Mm. If you if you do this here, then I'd say the other player has a right to kind of be annoyed. Now, in this instance, right. he's not the fantasy football isn't the kind of game where it's not like you're you're you are directly competing, but it's not like you can screw with your opponents. Right. Like you're 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 there based on your own merits of how well you're, you can predict the players and how they're going to do in the season. And it's really like you put all your work in at the start of it. There's not really much you can do. I to think do you better. can tweak stuff as the season goes on. It's like a horse uh, race. Like once you pick, yeah. you just kind of let them go. <laughs> yeah. Or like, and maybe you get alternate picks. Like I like if a player's taken off the team or something, or if like I somebody's injured, you no. can substitute in somebody. I don't know. Nobody knows. Honestly, I think nobody no. knows. I don't think anyone really fully knows how to play fantasy football. No. I think it's, they're just pretending to keep nerds out of the, out of the room right. while they're busy. Um, but in this case, like Barry's actions, I mean, uh, skips actions are, he could do better than Mike, mm. but he's not, it's, it's not like Barry said, Hey, Mike's screwed if you if you punch him in the in the right. ribs. Right. <laughs> uh, he just told him, "Hey, maybe you should try." Right. And and so I don't feel like that's I don't. Now, if I were Mike, if I were in his position, I guess I could see myself maybe being annoyed because he's thinking, "Oh, I've kind of got an out here." Right. This is an easy out. This guy's not paying attention. He just set this up. He doesn't know what he's doing. I can kind of, you know, I don't need to try because this guy's not trying even harder in a sense. <laughs> right, right. I and mean, he was already in ninth place out of right. 10. Right. So it's not like, like he was doing great. <laughs> right. It's not like he was like, you know, doing anything. You know, he, he was losing. Like, you know. <laughs> right. He was he was only beating the guy who literally wasn't paying attention. <laughs> right. And all, you know, Barry did was like, hey, you know, maybe wake up. He just poked him. Hey, <laughs> yeah. What if what if you had, were some competition instead of none? Right. So here's the. Let's get to the root of maybe why Mike is really upset because yeah. the uh, tell the me punishment. what the punishment is for this this group of of people. 
Uh, so whoever comes in last place and in last mm-hmm. place only, uh, I, I'm going to have to find the official. I don't know. I lost it. I, I, I'll summarize to the best of my memory. Okay. They are going to go out into the woods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. No, I, I can't remember who's wearing the mask. <laughs> I th- believe I'm pretty sure it's the loser. The loser is going to, has to wear a deer mask. <laughs> And then the other nine players go after him with paintball guns. <laughs> so this yeah. is like a the purge scenario. <laughs> right. We're hunting for the, the, the hardest, uh, what is it, the, the hardest thing. We're hunting for humans. The, the, the most dangerous game right. is what you're going for. There. The hardest game. <laughs> no, I mean, this is a Maybe fun. Maybe football is the most, fantasy football is the most dangerous Could game. Be. This is a fun thing to do. It sucks for the loser. <laughs> But it sounded like if 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 Skip wasn't in, like if Skip skipped this fantasy football game, it sounds like Mike would have been losing to begin with. So, like, you know, mm-hmm. it's not like anything w- was happening. So, like, the, the beef between Mike and Barry would have been there to begin with because Mike just, he was trying, clearly, and trying poorly. Where, you know, Barry just said, hey, Skip, why don't you? <laughs> now, is this, does this sound fun? The, the punishment is that fun for you? <laughs> it sounds fun for this type of group. It like, sounds like such a, a frat boy. That's, I was just going to say this sounds thing. like a hey, it's like a hazing. Initiation. We're the bros. If you don't win, you got to go out and get you know, basically be yeah. our animal and get shot. You know, like it's it's it, it is. It's just so weird. It's it's gross to me. And it's that's what gross. like, and I'm sure we're gonna get backlash if anybody listens. But like you know, fantasy <laughs> they don't. Fantasy football to me is also like a very frat boy kind of thing as well of like the, well, the, these are the bros mm. playing this this football game. I mean, it to- can be, but I think now also you could just be like at, at the office and everyone's doing right. it. It's not it's not like but I've never heard of other like money being on the line. Maybe I've never heard of there being this a punishment like this. I don't know if this is a common thing. Well, I mean, right now, this is giving me a great idea for next year's summer movie wager. <laughs> so whatever I mean this is based so summer movie wager just popped in my head is our fantasy football yeah it is it is yeah so I think true. next year for stay tuned everyone so because for our uh, summer movie wager next year we're going to have somebody put on a uh, a mask and we're going to go <laughs> paintball it's, hunting it's just such it's the setup for a, a weird uh, B horror movie and it's, it's 100% just... like oh we know who's going to lose let's I make this the thing deer mask like this is an A24 movie why do you need to yeah why do you need to make it like about humiliation it's yeah. just it's just not fun like there can no. be a punishment that's uh, something I don't know this is just so and like if you wanted to be a icky. humiliation thing don't have anything be with bodily harm be like oh you have to come over to every losing house and clean our toilets like something stupid like that <laughs> sure or like wash my car or, or right. something yeah 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 not like you know shoot me make, with you have to make dinner pseudo bullet or you have to I'm, buy drinks for everybody right. some like yeah well, it's, I, this is why so we I don't know the age of these people he says he says this with his high school friends and that they've been doing it for years well they're all so I, they're all 70 <laughs> <laughs> that now, if they're all old men, then I completely changed my position on this. I'm all for it. No, I have like the, the more I was looking into this case and hearing, I, they're definitely like between 30 and 40. Like this is that kind of. Oh, like, really? I, I was thinking younger. I'm the way that he says high school friends. Still, I don't know. I was thinking uh, co- between college age and like maybe like 26, 27. Like because to me, that. this seems like like okay, th- we're out of college now. This seems like oh we're trying to get the, the the like basically the frat together to do something stupid like we used to kind of like like that kind mm. of like you know these these bro dads kind of thing <laughs> that I get. I guess this is just a difference between uh, you're you're being more uh, reading them more so than maybe what you're feeling because for me I'm like I'm just assuming once you're thirty nobody wants to fucking go out in the woods. And, no, but and this is a big shoot thing each other because like it's like they have these like like. It, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, that stupid movie tag. <laughs> yeah. Like that kind of thing. Those are all like based on a true story, post-college people doing this kind of stupid shit. So like, I, I get it, a real it's one or the other. That. Yeah. I, I'm it. To me, it sounds like they're still, they're like just past that age and, but it could be a 
they're they're yearning for their glory right. days. But I either suppose. way, it is a super humiliating, super crappy. Like they Weird. all agreed on this. Like who? Or was it like somebody being like, yeah, no, 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 we're doing this. There's like one <laughs> ringleader who like always wins every year. And it's like, you know, they're all like, they must all be paintball. They must all play paintball together because right. they all have the guns. That's kind of fun. Why don't you just play paintball? Why don't you all just play paintball? And like the, the, the loser, maybe based on your placement, you get like a head start into the field. Right. That's fun. Have you ever paintballed? No. Would you ever <laughs> want you? to? I would want to. I, it seems really fun. I mean, I like laser tag. It's kind well, of like the be, next step up. <laughs> I prefer laser tag because like, I don't, I've never played paintball, but it just sounds like it hurts. Yeah. I don't think it like hurts, hurts. It doesn't feel great from what I've heard. But there is something, I think uh, uh, laser tags, they're all like the same damn layout. Oh and yeah. Eventually... They haven't been updated since 1995. <laughs> yeah. I'm also bad at it. <laughs> but uh you know i like first person shooters so paintball is kind of like th- that in real life that could be kind of fun but anyway. this would never be like a thing that i would like enter like i think the worst thing we've done for let's say the summer movie wager would be like oh you all have to watch this movie oh by the way uh i think you had to watch a movie yep still haven't uh, yet yeah what, what was that nine months ago yep. about Mm -hmm. still have to watch that movie but i will be coming over to your house dressed up like a deer and shooting you with paintballs (laughs) okay confusing but okay uh anyway uh, so the punishment is bad so from that angle you can understand perhaps in mike's shoes right he is he is fighting. So I, I think that's the real that's the thing here. That's but why he's upset. It's not like Mike was in third place and 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 Bear and Skip was, you know, all the way in last place. And like like they were both doing pretty poorly. So it's not like him. It's not like Barry telling Skip to pay attention really like got anything better or did anything like major to do. It just, you know. Something else could have happened where it's like, you know, this could have happened and and, and, and screwed with <laughs> right. the, anything the could order. have triggered this. Right. Uh yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, it's true. Would I be upset? Because I would probably, if I was in this fantasy football game, I would probably be the mic in this situation, like hiding behind <laughs> sure. somebody like, you know, you both oh, would. he's still last. We're good. I'm still I don't need to really pay attention. And so would I be I think a little... I'd be the mic and you'd be the skip. Probably. <laughs> Uh, so I would be a little perturbed if I was you or Mike, but like you were already not doing great to begin with. Right. Right. And like, you know, in this situation, somebody has to lose anyway. Like, you know, we all can't be winners. Well, sure we can. I mean, I can. We all get a blue medal, blue ribbons, whatever. You got a blue uh, medal? Good but I you. can see being being Mike. I understand the feeling of being like, Okay, I'm I'm in the clear. I'm in the clear, and then right. oh, what? How, I wonder how did he even find out that Barry said something? That's I, well, did he announce it to the group? Does well, it, that's the other thing chat? too. Like, yeah, is there a group chat thing? Do they all meet weekly in person or over Zoom or something? Yeah, but, yeah. But if I was Barry, what I would have done was do a private DM to Skip and be like, "Hey, pay attention." Really, not maybe around everything or maybe mike was like huh he's doing well did somebody say something you know something knowing what the outcome knowing what the punishment is i'm assuming these guys have a certain personality that would be upsetting (laughs) they probably would beat us up yeah they'd probably beat the shit out of us i would love it (laughs) i'm i'm ready to give a verdict on this so honestly so what so barry so we're trying to figure out judging whether or not barry is guilty for giving for Skip helping a heads up. His friend. Assuming these are all people who know each other, they're all friends, they're all whatever. Yeah, why don't you you why don't you take the the lead? I was trying to think okay, of a football thing. I had nothing. You could have said, why don't you tackle this touchdown? Why don't you be the quarterback and take the take the ball? Okay. I'll be the ball and take the quarterback. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> um I don't necessarily begrudge Mike for being annoyed by this. Mm -hmm. If I were Mike, I think I would be a little peeved. (laughs) I'd be like, come on. And I might be more peeved because it doesn't affect 
uh, uh, Barry directly. Because I might say, I, I could even maybe almost forgive it if it was like, oh, I want you to move down to help me out or something or move up to somehow help me or take someone mm -hmm. else down. I don't know. But it doesn't even affect you. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not your fight. Why are you... Right. Why it almost it almost could feel like a personal attack because if you're looking at the rankings, Barry probably can see oh if Skip improves it's going to be Mike's issue to deal with. Right. So is he like screw you, Mike? Yeah, like, I don't know what personal that... vendetta. Sorry to step on your. No, it could be seen that way. The reason I let it slide is because according to the case file. Skip has been busy. Okay. He, like he has, he hasn't been able to pay attention. He's been with work or his home life, whatever it is, which, you know, and let this fall it, behind a little bit because, you know, life. Right. Yeah. To, to some extent, I guess it's like, look, we all have a life deal with it, but I feel like it, it makes sense to me to say, look, I know you've been going through some stuff. Maybe maybe you just want to take a look at this. Whereas if it had been like, oh, he's been on top of it. He's just doing poorly, but he's paying attention. Mm -hmm. Then it feels maybe a little bit like, well, then he wouldn't need to have nudged him at all in the first place. Right. Because he would have right. been paying attention. It's if Barry had given him actual advice and said, hey, you should go for this pick instead of this pick. Right. Then I would say. That that could be crossing a line somewhere. But as it stands, he was just being a good sport, being friendly. Mike got caught in the crossfire. So while I don't necessarily think Mike's in the wrong either, I don't know that Barry is. I can't really I can't really bring myself to punish him. So I've got to I've got to call him not guilty. I, I definitely agree with I would say most of what you're saying, because, like, you know, uh, first off, I uh, question: Is Barry the one in charge of this game? Like, is there does it say who's the initial, like who's the leader of this? Let's say because it sounds it, like a group effort. It doesn't specify because it. it almost seems like Barry might be the guy in charge. Mm. Just by the way it's saying, and you are one hundred percent right. Barry didn't like you know. I'm assuming look into you know Skip's paperwork. He didn't look at like you know what his future plans are. He just basically said. You know, hey, basically reminding him that this game ex exists, which is what it sounds like. Hey, you know, your team is doing kind of shoddily. Why don't you, you know, just pay attention? It doesn't like so he didn't like look at his cards, for example. He didn't he didn't give him an exact, you know, lead to take or a path to take. He just said, pay attention, which Wait that up. basically he, he just did that. And, and that I don't see, feel as like helping. It's just, hey, why don't you pay attention? There's stuff going on, which is fun. Like, you know, we've done that, like to bring it to a game night. You know, somebody's on their phone or they're they're over at the refrigerator doing, you know, doing something. And it's like, hey, you know, you should see this. You know, John Doe is 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 screwing with you. Do you have a card to play that might affect that? Which we do in gaming a lot. Like, hey, right, you, right. does anybody have a card to screw with this person? Right. Is it good? Is it bad? No, it's just kind of being like, hey, let's do something to elongate this game a little bit longer or whatever. So I really don't think, you know, I don't think Barry is at fault of anything because he didn't really do anything. He just said, pay attention. He basically poked, poked skip and said, Hey, you good over there <laughs> now? You know, would I be upset if I was Mike? Sure. But like, you know, it seems like Mike is also doing bare minimum or just doing as poorly as skip because he's already in, like he's one away from being shot at with paintballs. So like, you know, he's already not doing well. And if only if, if, if Skip's only thing was to get awoken a little bit and, and to pay attention that shoved him into a better role, Skip was already doing better to begin with. So that's why I'm saying Skip has nothing wrong, is doing great. He was just told to pay attention. Barry is not guilty of anything, in my opinion. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there it is. Yeah, uh, I almost want to declare all of them just guilty of this stupid punishment they all agreed on. <laughs> but Right. <laughs> which they kind of are doing our sen sentencing for us yeah. in a way. 
Yeah, because whoever There's loses. The, we can't do worse than that. Uh, well, what we do need to sentence, I guess, uh, it's Mike. Mike is uh, Mike is in the wrong. Now, he's already come in last place. He's already suffering. He's already literally getting uh, executed. Yeah, well, yeah, right. Well, uh, figuratively. But my pitch would be for our punishment that we do upgrade those paintballs to real guns. Oh, see, I would say just freeze the paintballs. Would they, would that work? I don't it know how paintball gun works. It wouldn't feel better. But I mean, would they still come out the same? You know, he probably, he has to go and wash everyone's toilets. The thing we were talking about before. Sure. But I just think, I don't know why you're running away from just use real guns. Uh, because I like getting viewers back on our like, shows. <laughs> he gets a five minute head start. Okay. And then they hunt him down and they have an hour. And if he survives an hour, he gets he to wins. play again next year. Huh? Okay. And if not, also, nine players next year. Mike has to write an A24 film about this entire situation. <laughs> Somebody has to. This would be a movie that I would see on like Netflix. That would be out yeah. there. Like, you know, when hunt, this probably already is an existing well, it's, movie. Like, there's the movie The Hunt uh, right. from a few years ago, which I really like. There's Ready or Not. Right. It's, yes, a person it's a being basic, hunted down. Right. It's a thing. Yeah. I like it. I'm, I like those movies. They're fun, usually. <laughs> um, anyway. Now, does this entire situation make you want to play fantasy football because it makes me not want to. <laughs> I have no, there's just, I, it would be so uninteresting. I would, yeah. I would only be doing it uh, almost as an experiment to be like, what could I get by doing? Like the way one of right. our friend who doesn't know anything about movies plays the movie wager with us. Right. <laughs> that would just be like, what can I do based on no knowledge? Could I just luck my way into something? But I, it's just sounds very uninteresting to me. I do not want to participate. <laughs> and from people like I've known people who've played, it just seems like a lot of, like a lot of work to like, for us, it's like, okay, fine. Not for, for skip movie, for the movie wager. We'll look online and be like, Oh, what movies are coming out? How did they do last year? How to do whatever. But it's like, you need to like go through each individual player, learn their, like their, you have their, to know how to play football, <laughs> but not even like you need to know the industry kind of. Yeah. You got to know. What are the teams? What are the players? What are their positions? Right. Who's good at doing what? Who's who did what last year? How much you think they're going to do this year? Yeah, you gotta you gotta be following it. And you basically I have to be a football wanna. owner of a team. You gotta be one of them jocks. A what? We didn't really talk about the fact that this case is. Uh, some might argue not geeky. <laughs> it's, but see, in my opinion, this is geeky for a different. Like this is for sports yeah. geeks. Like yeah. every. Every platform has geeks. That's why we talk about, you know, you can have a stamp collection geek. That's not too, super geeky. Coin collecting. Serial killing. Serial yeah. killing. Anything like that. You can be your own geek for your own thing. Yeah. Our first t-shirt is going to be stamp collecting, coin collecting, serial killing. <laughs> <laughs> that might not sell that much. Well, that might be dangerous. We might have to get rid of the stamp collecting. Yeah, nobody likes stamps. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the uh, yes, the I think the level of attention you must pay to play this at a high level is where the geekiness comes right. in. Yeah. yeah. Now, go ahead. Uh, now, if you liked this story and you want us to do more different geeky stuff, you should let us know in our email. What is our email? Our email address is geeksontrial at gmail.com. We'll read your emails there. You can also go there to send us your own geeky case. Whatever you got, whether it be about football, coin collecting, or other board games, video games, movies, you name it. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll settle it for you on the show. We're judges. It's legal. It's legally binding. And if you want to... Oh, oh, there was more for you. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot how we do this show. Uh, I was also just going to add, let us know what you thought about this case, too. Do you side with Barry or Mike? What do you think? How would you fare in this situation? And we also have a forum. Did you mention the forum? We have a forum? A forum. Oh, a form. A form. <laughs> yes, there's a form. There's a link in the episode description if you just want to use that form to submit your case. Now, if you, want us, to, comments. If you want us to make a forum, we can too. That's, you know, we could take it back to early 2000s. And it's kind of a public forum. Geeks on Trial forum. But if you want to help us support the show, you should head on over to patreon.com slash geeks on trial. We have uh, early access to this episode. Plus, if you pay the $5 a month, you'll gain access to our brand new show, which is it's newish at this point. It's called Geeks on Trial Sidebar, and it comes out 
twice a month and you can watch us talk about other subjects and 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 talk about ourselves and it's just a fun place to watch us nerd out about individual topics and that's over at patreon.com slash geeks on trial do it support the show we'd love you if you did it yeah well this one was for the jocks next yep. week we'll be back to nerd shit now where can people find all of your nerd shit you can find my nerd shit at my website jonathanestes.com where I'm always threatening to do something, but then I never quite do it. But if it, if I do it, you'll find links to it over there. And you can head on over to my stuff. That's uh, everything is at Ivan Han or at Ivan R Han. But mainly, go over to youtubecom slash guy. I have a brand new episode out right now where I review and talk about Pocky, the original Pocky, the chocolate coated stick of deliciousness and that's over at youtube.com slash the snack guy yeah i'm a strawberry pocky guy so i like i like the banana or the cookies and cream one but you know i feel like for a review i needed to start with the baseline sure okay. i guess you gotta start with og real quick before we go uh super bowl predictions who you think is gonna win uh one of the teams all right for me i'm saying uh taylor swift there you go my name is jonathan estes I'm Ivan Hahn, and this has been <laughs> Geeks on Trial. Go sports team. We'll catch you next time. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>